Okay, I'm Sheriff Don Sal, Grimes County Sheriff. I just want to brief all of y'all on the latest updates. We have finished about the fifth round of ground searches with dogs, manpower, and aerial, helicopter, uh, other sources. We have not found anything. As I told y'all earlier, we had a couple of land areas that were concerning with dog scent. We checked them again. We've gone over and over and over. And Mr. Tim Miller with Texas EquiSearch will kind of brief you on what he, they have done with the other teams to go over what we've gone over last night, yesterday, today. And uh, we have drained the one pond of interest. It might have been of concern. We finished that about 35, 40 minutes ago. The, his, the child was not found in the pond, which is good news. It was a concern. We had to deduct that from the possibilities of. And so that's really all I have. We're reconning back here, as you see, to go to plan B for the evening. We'll be running people through here at night like we did last night. We'll have another team coming in in the morning. We have our investigators working on parts of this case. We have our searchers working on parts of it. We have our documenters documenting everything, and we're trying to keep you folks informed. I do not have any more information on anything. There's been no tips. There's been no rumors. There's been no facts come up that give us anything to go on. I'm not saying we're concluding anything. I'll say we're staying here till we find it, however long that takes. We'll, we welcome y'all. I the uh, uh, crew earlier. I said, please let the media do our voice, tell the public. We have an organized structure of searchers, a really confined area, largely wooded. The volunteers have really been wonderful about wanting to come out, but we have to, we have to kind of keep it toned down to not let it get confusing, especially for the dogs and the searchers. Uh, this is still a rescue. It is not a recovery. Some people asked me that a while ago, this would be crystal clear. We're still looking for that young man. We're just conducting process of elimination of all the things of entry. Now, that's about all I know at this time. Is there any questions I may ask? If not, Mr. Miller would like to say a few words. Question. Yes, ma'am. You were there when the mother was speaking with us. And yes, ma'am. She's... Any evidence, tire marks or anything to indicate that this may be an abduction? Ma'am, she was saying that, and bless her heart, she had emotions running rampant, as you saw. She was just, and she felt that way, but we have absolutely no facts, no clues, no evidence of that being true. We've had, we've canvassed the area with uh, houses that have cameras. We've pinpointed the times. We, we've pinpointed phone calls. We, uh, the partners, law enforcement partners, for example, include uh, invited FBI to come in. Rangers, state police, local law enforcement, my agency, our investigators, uh, Homeland Security. We've got a team of colleagues that is just phenomenal in the law enforcement side. So every avenue of resources are being used. And uh, until that is proven, we got something going. But we've not got any 911 calls, no Crime Stoppers tips, no, no snitching from the underworld at this point. Very, very. But we're not going to leave till we find him or find some conclusion. We're talking about the body of water that you drank yeah. earlier. Um, are there any other bodies of water? We had a couple of small ones. We had a couple of small ones in the region area. They were checked out. We've had dive teams last night and today. They searched last night in, in long detail. And we drained it today, the one larger one. The smaller ones, they were more clear. They were checked out, nothing there. A couple of above ground swimming pools, they were already checked out yesterday. So we, we like I said, the, the searches have gone this way, this way, this way, overlap, overlap, overlap. This gentleman here's team has done that with us. So uh, that's the uh, tactical explanation I have so far. You know, the question you had about um, 
persons of interest, we're looking at anybody who might be a person of interest right now. With our colleagues and the FBI on down and on up and everybody in between, we got a team of uh, uh, multi-agency investigators working on anything that may, may be factual. But any other questions? Let me ask you right now, knowing everything that you know right now, what 